Do you have the leaves up? See if you can find them. There he is. The whole road was just covered with them. It was just masses of them. You know, these thousands of toads just, you know, hopping across the road. It was so many at one time there, they just in motion. Just like a carpet moving. When you get looking at the adult western toads, you can get right down in front of them, and they look like Arnold Schwarzenegger toads. Get in front of these things, and they're, they're very interesting things to look at. You know, just growing up here, you know, they live around here. And so as, as kids, you know, you go out the basement stairs, and there'd be one huddled in, in the leaves, and you just pick it up, and you take it up with you, and you you'd put it back where it should be, and then you go on and, and do your thing. There's roads that surround their breeding wetland 360 degrees around it. So when they migrate three times a year, they have to cross those roads. And when they do, they get squished. The people that don't stop are the people that just don't care. The worst part for me is having people drive by because you can hear the toads popping. You can see them dying, but to hear them as well, it's really hard to listen to that. A lot of their existing habitat that may still be there, but it's intersected and bisected with, with roads and trails, and it just fragments their habitat. These toads are an important part of the ecosystem. If the toads don't survive and are not sustained, then the whole ecosystem will, over time, degrade and fall apart. I've seen an acceleration of habitat destruction. We have no provincial species at risk or endangered species legislation at all. We have now is voluntary detours where we have signage encouraging people to take the detour and still there are some people who are determined to drive over the toads and ignore them completely. The only thing that will solve the toads problem is our culture to shift its values so that we make room in our world for all these other species. If we do something now we can bring all these back and make a really big impact. All of the species that are at risk that we see in our environment right now are at risk because we haven't given them a place to live. We care about life, we care about people, we care about salmon, birds. Why shouldn't we care about a toad?